This is a toolbox tour of my Fart 147 school toolbox. Again, uh, a lot of my stuff is snap-on. It doesn't have to be snap-on. These are just a lot of the tools that'll, these are more than enough that'll get you through a uh, part 147 aviation school but this will actually be enough you could actually go out into the work field with everything that i have and be successful and not have any major problems so you open up the top here i got full snap on three eighths quarter through one inch then i have an older set that was given to me the snap on quarter through seven eighths uh, i got craftsman quarter through one inch shallows Craftsman quarter inch sockets. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna make those snap on as well. All my ratchets, breaker bars, even my little quarter inch breaker bar, they're all snap on. Got a snap on, super shallow, just sitting here. Uh, Craftsman extensions and accessory pieces, except these two, these are both snap on. Um, these are actually rebranded wobble pluses. You know, you snap on wobble plus, it's got your wobble and your regular these are actually made by capri you can get them off of amazon they're still a very well-made tool uh, super nice finish on them david clark uh headsets uh if there's one thing you can cheap out on tools do not cheap out on hearing protection that's something you can't get back i used to shoot sport and clays in high school so i have some of the custom plugs too uh part 147 school you won't need these at all they'll have all the wire you need there but my family actually uh is in the aviation industry so i have a bunch of tools and i already knew what kind of tools to get um i'm not a complete brand specific this is actually a harbor freight tool it's pretty cool it's a quarter inch on one inch three eighths low profile you can get a long reach on it i just thought it was a cool tool so i'd use it now i keep my half inch breaker bar in here for doing landing gear with my inch and an eighth socket they said we need an inch and an eighth for doing king air landing gear so that's what that's for i don't really know when else i'll use it. that's what i just wanted to bring it so i'm not having to borrow the instructor's tools uh first drawer i come into on the top is going to be my long reach needle nose your regular needle nose and then your uh this is your grabbing pliers. You really aren't going to use these in aviation, or you're going to try to not use these in aviation as much as possible. You'll have to use them every now and then, so you do have to have them, but try and avoid that. Here I have my snap ring pliers, and then I have uh, most of my cutters. I have my big seven and three quarters cutters. I got my little tiny ones. A bunch of people like who aren't in aviation don't understand why people would buy these, but these are amazing in aviation, cutting wires and doing safety wire. This will cut 41 thousand safety wire like it's nothing absolutely love those uh good flush cutters that makes a difference in a good mechanic and a great mechanic is how well they finish stuff off you have a nice clean cut zip ties that you can't scratch your hands on that's pretty big to a customer when they woke up and they have to reach into an inspection panel and check something out here i got my reversible safety wire twisters these are a blue point wr one a's and uh they're actually made by millbar so you can buy the millbar 25 w's are the same thing if you want to save yourself a little bit of money you just don't get the warranty that you do with the blue point these are the real deal snap on ones right here uh they're still a regular six inch safety wire they aren't the big nine inch but the mechanism and all on this is so strong you can actually do 41 thousandths wire with it quite easily uh duck bills as far as grabbing pliers, you're probably going to use these more than anything, depending on what school you're at. They might make you do all your wire twisting with these, but when you get out, you're definitely going to go to doing your safety wire with a reversible twister like those. Uh, long inch dikes, those are nice. And then the six inch dikes, I just added those two to my set. That's why they kind of seem out of place. Open up my screwdriver drawer here. I got full snap on screwdrivers. I got some. Uh, Harbor Freight picks that were free, you know, you get with a super coupon when I bought this box. Um, these are J.H. Williams. What Williams is, is we actually uh, were, I'm a part of the Snap-on Student Excellence Program, and a lot of their tools, you can also get a discount on the Williams stuff, but a lot of times what your discounted price is close to what you can find on the internet. I hate to say that but you have a limit for your student excellence program through snap-on so you don't want to blow that whole limit and then get to graduation and not be able to buy you a nice 
snap on box so those like a lot of my tools i actually bought williams i'd get the guy to price them out if they were cheaper for him to get them for me i'd get them through him if it was cheaper for me to find them on ebay or somewhere else i got them but they're still they're an amazing quality tool they're full hollow these are just nut drivers you'll see i got more williams tools here in a second screw uh mini screwdrivers picks um some miscellaneous long reach bits that i got a little cobalt bit set this was on sale i mean a lot of times you'll find really nice tools at Lowe's. cobalt makes some nice tools there's some stuff that i prefer snap on over others like your regular screwdrivers but when it comes to bits i mean might as well get a little set just so you can kind of have a little bit of everything in here um yeah you got your stars your flats your phillips your hex all of those those are nice side next we got my wrench drawer these are all Williams 3 8 through 1 inch set. These are actually rebranded blue points is what they are. Those are really nice. Standard gear wrench, ratchet and wrenches, zero offset. You got to turn them over to reverse them. Cobalt hex keys, Williams stubbies, uh, the Craftsman midget wrenches. It's always nice to have a set of these because a lot of times I do a lot of stuff with helicopters. So a lot of that thing is put together with 7.30 seconds. I actually have a snap on 7.30 seconds coming just because you use it so much. Um, you can never have too many quarter and 5 sixteenths wrenches, so I keep those two cobalt ones right there in there. These are some more Capri tools, the same as those Wobble Plus extensions up there. But these are some thin wrenches, you know, in case you got to get into a really tight spot. And I got some other stuff. I'm going to add angle wrenches and then deep offset box snap on wrenches to this drawer. That's what that big gaps for. I got I got visions of growing it already. This is my hammer drawer, hammers, punches, and then I got some aluminum scrapes that I've made out of stuff just because it's really nice. Especially when you come when I'm coming home working. We got uh Bell OH 58s we're up keeping in a 206 Long Ranger. So I'm changing the windows on one right now and I've been having to use these is quite a good bit to do that scrape putty and stuff like that and you don't want to mar it so the aluminum soft this is my sheet metal drawer this has got my rivet removal tool i've used a snot out of it i absolutely love it it's not a snap-on product it's a aircraft tool supply aircraft tool supply this is a rivet layout not sure if they'll let me use that in school it's a really nice tool to have when you're doing sheet metal there's my files there's my combination square it's just a simple harbor freight one but as far as holding in a straight line it works i got my Machinist scales. I got that's a 12 inch one. This is six inch one 64s 30 seconds Kind of got to have that when you're in school They'll tell you and if you're working with sheet metal always measuring 64s You'll be a lot more accurate that way and This is my last drawer a lot of the stuff in this drawer. You do not need for uh, 147 school at all multimeter. You won't need a soldering gun. You definitely won't need wire strippers probably they won't get on to you if you don't have them and then this is actually this is just a tool for soldering you flip both of these ears up and it'll hold the wire together uh if you are in 147 school i highly suggest getting this this is really good for doing all your for learning ohm's law and it's just a nice reference book it's got all your stuff for your dc and ac circuits especially when you're doing your dc uh complex circuits trying to solve your voltage drops and all that with those that's nice to have I always have a bunch of different flashlights you know i got some magnetic ones even though everything on aircraft are aluminum for the most part but this one i really like it because it's got a regular light on the end this is just a nevo light you can get them about anywhere but it's fully rubber coated and when you're working on an aircraft if you drop it if you got something hard, it might dent it or scratch it, and this is soft, so it won't do that. Everybody's bound to drop it at some point. Uh, this is my Streamlight pin light. Use it more than any of them. This is my go-to a lot of times. If I go to working on something outside of school, I have this on my belt. This is just a coast light, spot, flood, all that. It works great. Uh, there's my fluke meter. There's your aviation mechanic handbook. Um, suggest getting that most uh, most of your 147 schools will tell you to have it or at least the one i go to they told you to have it um then i just got this little set that came with the magnet and the mirror the feeler gauges and the tray all came in one and that's about all i have in my box this is again this is way more than you need to get started and 
aviation, you can actually go out on your first job with this and you won't be having to ask everybody around you to borrow tools. Um, this overkill, I know I get taken complete advantage of the snap-on student discount. It's worth every bit of it, especially when you get out and you go to having to pay full price for tools. Stock up while you can. I mean, it's it's a once-in-a-lifetime deal if you get the Snap-on Student Excellence Program. And Snap-on Tools, it's just the quality of them. That's what you're paying for. This ratchet right here, this was actually given to me. This is one of my dad's old ones. This is a 1989 ratchet, and it works. I would say it works better than any brand-new Harbor Freight ratchet you get. I know a bunch of people argue me to death on that. But it's just, you you do get what you pay for. Yes, it is overpriced, but mainly what you're paying for on the truck is that service fee. Those guys, that's what they do with their lives. That's how they make their living, and they're relying on you to make their living just like you rely on the tools to make yours. So get good tools, don't be cheap, and make sure you build you a nice set.